So there are a few questions that I wanted to talk about uh, from the objects and classes two document. And so this is the first one. Um, it talks about <coughs> inheritance, composition, aggregation, aggregation, and polymorphism. And so inheritance, of course, is like cat inherits from animal. Composition is um, animal, and then like one of its instance variables is teeth, which is another object. So it's composed of uh, another class. And then aggregation <coughs> is similar to composition, except it's slightly different. Um, it means that the, a class uses another uh, object. An object uses another object in its methods. So it's, <coughs> it's not exactly what composition is, because composition means one of the instance variables of the class is using another class. So like, you know, deck has an array of cards, but aggregation means one of the methods is using an object from another class. So slight difference there. And then polymorphism, of course, is when you have <coughs> two, you have maybe a, a parent class and a, a child class, and they both have a method that has the same name. Let's call it drive. And then you create an array that are, you know, type parent class, and you fill the child class and the parent, uh, child object and the parent object into the array list. You run through it in a for loop, and you run that uh, method drive. And then for those that are type parent, it's going to run the parent's definition for drive. And for those that are type child, it's going to run the child's definition for drive. So that's what polymorphism is. And let's see, number are there anything else? Yeah, there's one more. Over here, this one, which of the following relationships represents polymorphism? Um, there's only two types of relationships in Java. The first one is has a and is a. And so has a is, um, you know, like a deck and then one of its instance variables is an array of cards, which is another t kind of object. And uh, is a is a cat is an animal because cat extends animal. So yeah, so then B is non-existent, and then D just makes no sense. So this is one of the rare questions where we have two nonsensical answers. And so polymorphism is again where you're using the definition in the parent class and also de using the definition in the child class for a method that you're running through an array of objects and uh, that would be represented by is a right is a because the child class is a parent class the cat is an animal and the cat is running a different definition than the parent is running so that is about it <coughs>